So we're down here at Roberta Ranch again today. Um, I'm really happy to see some colors go on the wall. And uh, I'm really happy with how this coffered ceiling turned out. We ended up putting this in because we have a run of ducks, which I talked about earlier. They kind of came through here and ran down this way. And you know, when you can think about how that's all going to come together before the project gets going, it really can make the, it tie in instead of it look more like um, an afterthought and something that didn't have purpose. So when you're thinking about your mechanical design, you gotta think about where it's gonna go. And if you don't think about where it's gonna go, sometimes it doesn't look the way that you would hope. So planning, 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 it all goes a long way. The trim in uh, for most of the house now. We ended up going with the same baseboard trim that I have liked the last couple of projects due to the fact that it's pretty basic. It's got a very small profile on the very top edge of it, which helps uh, prevent the dust from collecting on there, which I find that on the just a uh, plain flat stock, it, it really starts to build up there and ends up getting stuck in there actually. And even when you try and clean it, we always do these these block the plint blocks here. And the plint block is to help when the material is all budding together there in the corner. Um, helps to give it some definition. Makes it so that when all the pieces start to come together, that um, it looks nice and neat. On the top, it looks pretty basic right now. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to um, get all this trim sprayed out, and then we're going to put a piece of this fur on the top here, which you'll see in a later video um, that will have to happen after we finish the paint. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that detail turns out. I haven't done that before and I'm excited about that. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching some more video. And uh, it's, it's great to see that everybody has been engaged and I'm getting great feedback. So please don't hesitate to send me a message. I'm more than happy to answer any message and uh, hopefully we can be doing something in the future. Okay, bye for now.
Hey, we're down here at Roberta Ranch again today. We've got some of our final coats of paint on in the master bedroom and the guest bedroom. Uh, we'll take a lap down there and we'll kind of show you what we've got going on now. Going to the bathroom here. Yeah. Tomorrow, the majority of the flooring will be completed. Um, just like almost every construction project right now, they have some sort of delay with some sort of material. Right now, we're, we're just waiting on our cabinets. So because of that, um, we have lots of spots in the building, um, in the home. Like here, we're gonna have the vanity. So this trim has to butt in, which is kind of same thing around the, the door here. Um, so we're going to end up trying to get as much done as we can so that the project can move ahead. Um, but those pieces will have to get done at a later date. Yeah, so it's, it's a tricky time to be trying to build a house right now uh, due to just really unexpected um, shortages in all different industries. And it, keeps, it seems like it changes weekly and it's, it's really hard to keep up with all these things that are changing. But, you just got to do your best and try and stay on top of as many things as you can. Do good communication with all your sub trades as well as suppliers and, and hope that it all comes together really. At Buck Robertson Contracting, we do contracting with communication. So if you'd like your house built with communication, call us today. Bye for now.